What's going on everyone? It's Tay with Spectacular Gadgets. And in this video, I'm just doing a quick public service announcement. Now this announcement involves anyone who purchased the Snap Pixie flying camera. What is that, do you ask? It is this. Now, if you watched my video, this is probably maybe a year or so ago, I purchased this and I purchased mine off of Amazon. And it's a cool little like flying camera that you can have it track you, you can have it do a lot of things. Um, now, I recently got a message from the company uh, saying that they're going to have to do a recall. There's a recall on this product. So if you have purchased this or received this as a gift, you may want to reach out to pixiesupport.com, I believe that is. I'll put everything in the description, but uh, what they want you to do is pretty much stop using the unit. Now, here is the issue. The issue is the batteries that they have here. The batteries are said to overheat and possibly um, catch fire or something like that. Um, let me read you what the site is saying. All right, so I'm gonna read this. Um, this is straight from the website. Uh, why are you recalling the Pixie battery that comes with the flying Pixie camera? So here's their response. Snap in cooperation with the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission is recalling the battery that comes with the Pixie flying camera because the battery can overheat, posing a fire hazard. We will issue a refund of the purchase price. Just, just so you know, there have been no reports of property damage related to the battery overheating. The batteries are sold with the flying pixie camera and then they have the battery uh, charging pack and that's what I purchased. So when I purchased it, it came in like a cool little case. It had a little cover on top. And it comes with also like a little bumper and something that you can kind of hold on to it with, but it only came with one battery. So you, here's where the battery goes. So it only came with one battery pack. So what I did was I purchased this and this is called their dual battery pack. And then that comes with two. And then this will charge both of them at the same time. So you can just pop them out and put them into the flying pixie camera. That was all said and dandy, never had a problem with it. But uh, I guess this is a big deal because they are refunding everyone. So like I said, if you purchase it from the site, go on the site, they have a little link at the bottom of the website for you to go ahead and start the process of the refund. If you got it from Amazon though, for customers who order from amazon.com or received it as a gift, you have to contact the support team and that email address is support at pixie.com. So in your email address, when you're typing that email for the people who purchased it off of Amazon or received it as a gift, go ahead and go to support at pixie.com. That's the email address that you're gonna use. And then what I did was I just put um, recall for Pixie uh, batteries or something like that. That was what I put in the subject. Within about 10 minutes, someone from the support team actually got in contact with me and we started the refund process. And so what that included is what I started was saying that I got the recall notice from Amazon and um, here's my order number, the month that I purchased it, blah, blah, blah. Then they turned around and they said, you know, I need your serial number, I need your full name, I need your address. And I believe they asked me how many um, batteries do I have and how many of the, bat the dual battery chargers did I have. So they asked me how many batteries did I have and I said I had three because I have the one that came with it and then the two that I got when I purchased this separately. Then they asked me how many of these dual battery chargers did I have and I said one because I just got one. Then they're going to tell you do not, you guys listening to me? don't send the batteries back. 
So if you just had one and this, do not take the battery out and send just this, just send the camera back. And so maybe you're asking, why would I send the camera back? I'm figuring that they don't have a solution right now um, to power this. If you can't use the batteries, this is not useful anymore. You can't really use it. So they're just gonna refund everybody back, which I guess is good and I'm glad they caught it. And I'm even more so happy that there haven't been any related um, injuries or anything due to this. They're just trying to catch it beforehand, which is great. I just remembered that I didn't tell you how to dispose of those batteries. You're going to take them out of the flying camera and you're not going to send it back to the uh, Pixie uh, returns facility. Instead, you're going to dispose of them in a safe manner. So it doesn't mean take them out and throw them away. Um, you, you, you shouldn't keep them, but you shouldn't just throw it in the trash because they could be a hazard. So it has to go with uh, how you would normally dispose of things that you can't typically throw in the trash. So the battery should be disposed of um, in accordance with any uh, local state ordinances that you guys have. Uh, just make sure that you do it safely. So don't go to your Best Buy and dispose them there because unless you want the Best Buy to possibly catch fire, you don't want to do that. All right, I'll see you guys on the next one. Y'all stay safe out there, all right?